Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy Literal, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the brush tool tricks in Photoshop. First, before we get started, I want to ask you if you'll write thanks Wendy in the comments below once this helps you out. It's a free way to leave me like a virtual tip. The more comments, the more YouTube shares the video more often, and then I get more ad revenue from it. So it's a free way to leave me a virtual tip. Let's get to the actual tips. So the tip that you're looking for, I'm sure, when you come here is the bracket tools. Those are the ones that are going to make your Photoshop tool get larger and smaller in increments. But that's not the tool you should be using. Um, there's actually a much better way to do this. Let me run through the tips real quick. The first tool, um, of course, is those brackets. The second tool is if you hold down control on a PC, the move tool appears, and this will actually help you move around your, your layer while you're working on it. Um, as soon as you let go, of course, it goes back to the brush tool. The next one is if you hold down alt, then the eyedropper tool appears, and you can change the, out the color of your foreground or your background. So on the next one is alt and control, and that will help duplicate your layer. So if you click and drag, you'll see over here, we now have a second layer. The other one either is if you do shift alt, shift alt is going to let you do place a color sampler so if I do orange and then I do silver and then blue and then you come over here to your info palette and you'll actually be able to see the values of those different selections all right so now for the tool that you're probably here for now we talked about the brackets making your brush tool larger and smaller well what I want you to do is try this I want you to hold down on this is on a PC and I'm sorry that I don't know the Mac alternatives but if you hold down alt and then you hold down the right mouse key you can drag right and left and then you can go up and down. Now, what I wanna show you here is that if you're going right and left, it will change the size of your brush, right? If you go up and down, you can see there in the middle right here, it's changing the hardness of it. So if you want it to be 100% hard, you go all the way down. If you want it to be very feathered, you go all the way up to the top. So, and that will give you different results. It's, it's changing the hardness and the feathered edges of your brush. So the biggest difference between this and then using the brackets is that the brackets go up and down, the brackets being the keyboard shortcut, go up and down in increments of 100. Sometimes that's too big and too small when you're trying to get something in between these two. The other thing to notice is that when you're doing those jumps on your brackets, let me grab my, my brushes palette here. So one thing to notice when you're doing these jumps here, you might have a, you might be working in a space where you have a defined brush size, right? Great. Let's say, let's go up here and we'll say we want 543, right? Like that's the size of our brush. If I hit the down bracket and it goes down, it's going to go down to the nearest hundred. So watch this, it's gonna jump down to 500. It didn't jump down to 443, it jumped down to 500. It went to the nearest hundred. If I hit down again, it's gonna to go to 400 and 300. And then if I go up, it's gonna go back up in increments of 100. So that's what you need to remember is that if you're working with something that's a specific brush size, you wanna be very careful here because you're not going to jump down 100 um, pixels, you're jumping down to the nearest 100. So just keep that in mind when you're using your increments on your brackets versus being able to hold down the Alt key, hold down your right mouse key, and then get to a specific size. So those are things to keep in mind as you're going through it. There's a lot of great tools. Photoshop comes with a whole bunch of shortcuts and you will never learn them all. There's so many. But these are some things to keep in mind when you're working with the actual brush tool.